Hi, my name is Genevieve Pappas from Troop 7494, and this is my theoretical costume design of The Wizard of Oz by Noel Langley, Florence Ryerson, and Edgar Allan Wolfe, based on the book by L. Frank Blom. Now, I had chosen this play because fantasy is something so near and dear to my heart, and I wanted to really just take a cult classic fantasy-based, just classic play and really make it something that I just really enjoy looking at and is just so visually appealing to me. So I had really looked into the style that was this play was in originally. Now the style is very 1939 Dorothy in her old Kansas apparel while she comes into this magical land and all of the people of like the citizens there and all the characters the scarecrow the lion the tin man the wizard they're all new to her and i wanted it to seem like dorothy had been misplaced so while the rest of the characters have a little bit more of a dark feel to them a little bit more of a dark romantic goth steampunk dorothy is a very light pastel color she keeps her childish nature and i wanted to have that style of her original dress with the gingham skirt with of the checker the blue, light blue checker um i wanted to keep that with her because i feel like that really gives dorothy's bubbly just childish personality that she just keeps throughout the book and that really makes you just love her and i wanted to keep that keep her look going keep her um personality up there while the rest looked a little bit differently so that she looked like she belonged there, yet she looked like she was not in the place she was originally, which is what happens in the play. So I wanted to make that really apparent with the costumes. I had my basis of inspiration from the Tin Man. He was the first character I had researched for my entire costume design, and he was everyone was kind of based around him because he's metal. And I at first thought when I looked at him, well, what would he look like if he was steampunk? And that's where my whole steampunk idea had come from. I was like, well, it would be kind of hard to make a lion steampunk. And I wanted that challenge. So I had said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make not only the Tin Man steampunk, but I'm going to make everyone steampunk too. So... I had started research with just basic steampunk things like the skirts and the corsets and the puffy sleeves and the, just the accessories and the bronze and gold and like the kind of robotic looking things and I thought that that would really give each character a very different feel because each character can be taken in a steampunk route in very different ways and I loved the feel of each character having its own unique personality that shines through his costume. That's the beauty of costume design, is being able to give somebody a personality through what they wear. That's just something I love doing, so I thought that if I could make each person stand out with their steampunk thing, I had researched this and I had just done a bunch of basic things. I'd went to the Halloween store, because it was around Halloween time, and I'd looked at their steampunk apparel, and I'd thought the corsets and the leather and the browns and reds and blacks and greens and like the eggshell colors and I wanted to have each character to kind of interpret a little bit of that and just keep that with them and that would make each of them very similar to each other in the sense of their era but very different from each other in the direction the steampunk was taken. If I had more time and more resources and more abilities and actually being able to make these costumes, I think I would actually do all of the costumes and really just fully design each person and really make them very, very unified and like a real play because it's something I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure every single person got to be a part of the play and each person got to be steampunk like because there's so many characters in The Wizard of Oz that imagining them in steampunk is something so hard and so challenging that I would love to have more time to be able to really draw them all out and think of what fabrics would I use and what types of fabrics and the colors and 
what kind of vibe do I want them to give off with their costume? And I think that if I had more time and more resources and more ability, I would definitely do the entire play with all the cast and characters, especially Glinda the, the um, Nice Witch, because her dress is so just like vibrant and pretty in the actual play that I think doing it as a steampunk would really give her just like a nice fun twist. Um, thank you for listening to my presentation. I really hope you enjoy this. Um, this is dedicated to my Bubba. I love her so much and I know she loved The Wizard of Oz too, so thank you. <laughs>